since the last vlog, I've been landing my back clips a lot more upright, and Eric admits he's actually impressed. I've been shocked and impressed. Every day, she does more, she gets more. And I got some really good news about my employment prospects, which I can hopefully talk about soon. I just got an offer. I've been continuing to try to do heavy lifting without hurting my back, and I hit a new PR on overhead press, and I learned how to climb a rope, which I was truly terrible at. And that's what you missed on Yuna's Life. Okay, so I was going to show this video outside of my walk to Starbucks as usual as every video starts, but wait, I have to show you guys the fit first, like, hold on. So, white tank top from Lululemon. Look at these cutie shorts from Nike. And look at the shoes. They match the shorts. Ah, so cute. Anyways, so it's Lululemon, Lululemon, Nike, Adidas. These are actually Wendy got for me. No, Wendy got for herself. Like, I think two or three years ago. They've been in my closet for two or three years. I also just feel really self-conscious because I can't put on tanner because I have a laser hair removal appointment next week and you can't have any tanner on your legs or anything because like then the laser won't work or something. Anyways, so I feel kind of pale because I've been wearing tanner for the past few weeks and honestly, it boosts my confidence from like a three to a solid six, which is like pretty high for me. So now I feel like I look pale. Like, does this look pale? Do I look that? I feel like, oh, sad. Also, I was thinking about it and I was like, man, like, why does nobody else like vlog while they're walking and talking? And I was like, oh my God, it's because everybody's freaking in their car driving. Ah, oh, it'd be so great to have a freaking car. Cause then you can just be a fool in private, not in public like me on my street. And everybody thinks I'm a weirdo. Anyways, I, I'll, I'll see, oh my God. We forgot our hater blockers, one second. Ta-da! You can't hate on people when they can't see you. They block out the hate. Although now that I think about this analogy, I can't see people all the time. So I guess nobody can hate on me, period. Which, can somebody let people on TikTok know? Because they haven't gotten the memo and those kids are mean. All the happy days. Cheers, I got a tall cold brew with soy as usual. Um, I did get a tall because I want to be able to sleep well tonight, but I'm gonna work on my secret project now that I actually just don't want to talk about because it actually might not happen, but if it does happen, it's like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Sorry, I think I just messed up the mic. But anyways, I'm gonna work on that and then I'll talk to you guys on the other end. This lighting is fucking crazy because it's so bright. Um, all right, that was so productive, man. In the morning, I feel like I'm like the most productive per unit of time that I am all day, which is why I usually put it for my workout because it's like the most valuable time of the day. But like I said, since this project is my priority now, I think I just spit, please excuse that if I did that. Um, because this project is my priority now, I've been putting it ahead of my workout which yeah also the past few weeks usually i'm so 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 pumped about training and like although i'm loving training right now like i definitely enjoy it it's not like a few weeks ago i just had this fire in my belly that was like oh i can't wait to get to the gym and now because i'm so excited about this project i have a fire in my belly for this and like i don't know so the point of this was to say that i definitely don't always feel like Oh yeah, I like, can't wait to like bust my ass, blah, blah, blah. But I go no matter what because I do always feel better afterwards. Holy shit, that was such a loud trip. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the locker room. All right, so we are in the gym. It's actually not a full workout day for me. On my off days for my full lifting sessions, I kind of just work on skills I want to work on. So I'm gonna be doing some pull-ups today, some ring dips, and then I do some accessory exercises for like the muscle groups I really care about. So I'll be doing some glute stuff probably. And then I'll also probably be working a little bit on Olympic lifting. Um, my lower back is still kind of fucked from gymnastics. So it hurts when I like hinge, like anything like that. Like, so any kind of deadlift hurts. And then it also hurts if I'm like bending over to pick something up and it also hurts if it's back loaded. So I've had to like take out a bunch of stuff that I can't do, but I'm only doing things that don't hurt it. Don't worry. I know like there's a subset of people in my life who are like my very close friends who will always say like, 
basically you know you're doing too much and you're gonna hurt yourself and like they're not wrong but like i don't know how to be any other way so anyways let's go okay so the first thing i'm gonna work on is pull-ups and basically my only goal for these is to try to get as long of a set as possible because as you guys know i really want to be able to do a muscle up um you need really really good pulling strength for that and to build up my volume i'm basically trying to get like as many pull-ups per set so i do three sets of as many as I can. Lately they've been 655 or 654 and so I haven't really been feeling super strong. It would be really great if I could get 665 today, so we'll see. So now just for fun, I like to try one pull up with a 25 pound plate, mainly because I want to be able to do a 45 pound plate someday. Still to be determined whether or not that will ever be the case. But basically, I'm going to show you guys how a weight belt works. So you got the weight belt, you put it on your waist like this. You got the plate, you loop the chain through the handle of the plate, like so. Basically then it just hangs on your hips. Um, you're going to feel like it's going to fall off, but it's not because your hips are wider than your waist, supposedly. You know, for people like me, they're just straight up and down, but anyways, now I'm going to go try to do one, and yeah. Alright, next thing I'm going to work on is um, ring dips. So, again, this is for the muscle up because I'm not really sure it's going to come first, a bar muscle up or ring muscle up, but anyways, whatever. Dips are really important for the muscle up. I'm going to be using black band because they're just really really hard um, I think I can maybe do one on a good day without a band so these are three sets of five with thin black band basically just focus on keeping my shoulders back because I always get a lot of pain in my front shoulder and when I looked it up it said if you have pain in your front shoulder from dips it means your shoulders aren't retracted so I'm gonna be focusing on retracting my shoulders doing the nice load control keeping your core tight and yeah The next thing I'm going to do is some Olympic lifting. Um, my shoulder feels a little weird. You know you're doing too much and you're going to hurt yourself. Don't know why, but we'll see how it goes. Probably going to be very light because I'm just working on the technique of it basically. Things don't feel too good today. My elbow kind of hurts. My shoulder kind of hurts. You know you're doing too much and you're gonna hurt yourself. I'm gonna strip back the weight and just work on them light for a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They don't feel great. Yikes. I think I might do some like glute stuff now and some ab stuff. All right guys, in typical post-workout fashion, my camera died while I was filming. So um, I'm filming on my phone. Uh, that workout went really well. I was pretty happy about it. I was a little bummed in the middle that my forearm was hurting a bit and I was kind of annoyed, but it's okay because it doesn't really hurt a lot now and it's getting better. But yeah, I know I know I train a lot and I know- You know you're doing too much and you're gonna hurt yourself. These injuries are because I train a lot. So I'm like trying to be better about it, but it's kind of hard, but anyways, Usually I would take the bus home now because um, I would be starving after a workout, but that wasn't really a workout. That was just like doing random stuff. So instead, I'm just going to walk home because it's like 80 degrees and I'll just catch up with you guys when I get home. <laughs> Somebody just walked by when I was filming my feet with my phone. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> LOL, LOL, my life, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back home. Um, 
I need to eat now. I had a slight delay because Nancy was cooking in here, but now I'm in here and I'm gonna cook. Um, so if you guys know one thing about me, you know I am a creature of habit. I literally eat the same thing every single day. Come rain, come shine. I don't get bored. I don't know what it is. It's just like, that's how I am. So I'm gonna be having the same thing I always have today. So that took me maybe five minutes to make. As I said, always, 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 like I know that a lot of people are really repulsed by like eating the same thing every day and they don't like it, whatever. Guys, if you find something that works, there's literally no reason to change it. And what I've noticed is with people who are like athletes, like CrossFit athletes who are training every day or whatever, or like people who are into bodybuilding, whatever, most of them do eat the same things every day because it takes a lot of the guesswork out of nutrition. So anyways, if you're not into it, that's okay. But if you don't mind it and you find stuff you like, then no reason to change it. And I'm just gonna eat lunch now. My grandma's here. So, Nana, say hi. Hi. <laughs> My grandma's here, so we're gonna eat now. Um, and yeah. I finished eating, my grandma is still eating over here. Um, and now I'm going to make her a coffee because she says she's tired. I'm gonna make myself a protein coffee because that's what I have for a dessert or a protein shake. But today I kinda want a protein coffee. And I'm gonna use my frother, but first I'm gonna make her coffee, so BRB. All right, so I'm gonna use this coffee frother. I'm gonna fill it up to the eight ounce line in there but basically you just put i don't even know i think my mom got this for me literally junior year of college but i've never stopped using it because it's so good um you fill it up with milk and then you put whatever you want so i'm gonna put this instant decaf coffee honestly this stuff is trash but i mix it with protein bars it doesn't taste that bad um my grandma doesn't know what's decaf but don't tell her because i don't have any others don't tell her um but it does still have like 25 milligrams of caffeine so it's okay she'll be okay and i'm gonna put a scoop of protein in mine which is like a very common thing everybody always puts like a scoop of protein in their coffee and my grandma's gonna be with whole milk and mine's gonna be with cashew Stirring it up, stirring it up. This is my favorite cup because it's like a bowl. I don't know why, I love that. All right, and this is gonna be my grandma's mug. I gave her my special mug that my friend Emily got. And here is her coffee. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. I mean, come on, why go to Starbucks? Nani! <laughs> she's, saying, she's saying I made a really good coffee. You're welcome. It's the frother for me. It's the frother. Thank you, Nana. I'm also gonna have a piece of dark chocolate with my proton, why not? I'm trying to decide if I wanna have Taza. This one has some sugar, this one doesn't have any, but I kinda want this one today, so I think I'm gonna have a little bit. Oh my golly goshness, look what I found. A package, a package has come for me. It's the mail time. Wait, isn't there, I feel like there's a song that's like, in Mr. Rogers about the mail. We need deliveries, we need deliveries. Look at what it is, hold on. Oh my God, I can't even take it out from here, Jesus. Okay, wait, this color is like not, oh, I wish you could see that. Okay, it's like, it's pink, it's not purple, but. Upon further reflection, it actually turns out the pants were pretty purple and I was having a hashtag blind girl moment. But like, okay, wait, let me try them on so I can show you guys what they look like and maybe the color will translate more 
accurately when I'm like standing in them, but like, oh my God, ah, I'm so cute. Can I see that color a little better now? Wait, maybe if I can go down. Like, hold on, let me go to Wendy's room for a second. Nancy and Tom are gonna be there, but they're just gonna have to let us use the mirror. Hi friends, sorry to interrupt. I wanted to use this light to see the color of these lights. Okay, look. Wow. Nancy, do you love this legging color? One sec, I'll be right down with these details. You get a call or mail from Google after so one or two days. And like, do do yeah, that. I like the color. Isn't it so pretty? They're really interesting. Guys, they were sold out in all colors, all sizes. This is what I do whenever that happens. I log into Lululemon every single day and I go to size eight and then I check in store. And then once in a while, a store will have it and then I call the store and I'm like, can you ship it to me? Oh my God, I'm so happy I called Lululemon about these leggings. They're so cute. Oh, let's see that you can kind of see my butt crack a little bit. Mm -hmm. Irrelevant, not important. Okay, so it's quite a few hours later. I just basically did a bunch of work. I got to send a copy of the secret project to a person who has to get approved by. But anyways. I have gnocchi and spinach in here. I have my salad and a piece of toast here. Nancy has pasta somewhere. Yeah, we do. Here. And now we're just gonna watch Scrubs probably, right guys? Scrubs? Guys, I'm sorry. I can't stop. I feel like my shoulder is so jacked. Look, look at it. Every morning, no, I come here. No. It's literally so jacked. It's crazy. It's okay, crazy. let's do a comparison. You next to Tom. Okay. Yeah, you got it? Oh my god, dude. It's the angle Tom's at. I swear to god. It's almost like two I'm literally jacked, dude. I'm dude, watch them. Jacked. Somebody run that footage back later. Oh, we will run the footage back. We will run oh, it back. Shit. Anyways, guys, I'm really sorry that my hair has been so weak this entire video. I didn't take a shower what after I'll the say is, If we compare legs, I will win. Yeah, his legs are definitely more jacked. He looks like a skeleton. Damn it! Oh, got off topic. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.